So you're thinking of moving to Encino, California. In this video, we're gonna show you around Encino, California. We're gonna take you through some neighborhoods and show you some different price points of different homes so that you can see what may fit with your budget. If you stick around until the end, I will share with you the best kept secret of the neighborhood that you definitely don't wanna miss. And we're getting after it right now. If this is your first time to this channel and you wanna know everything about living in Encino, California, then subscribe below and tap the bell button for notification so you can be the first to know about the current market in Encino, California. My name is Carolyn Aliverdian from Real Estate by Carolyn over at eXp Realty. And we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Los Angeles. And we absolutely love it. Whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a shout, a text, or send us an email. All of the information is in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move to Encino, California. So let's get after it. Encino is a neighborhood located in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles, California, known for its affluent community. Encino has become an attractive place to live for many people. However, as with any neighborhood, there are always both pros and cons of living in Encino. The, Encino is known for being a very affluent community with higher incomes and property values. This means that the residents can expect a higher quality of life and access to luxury amenities. Here are some of the pros and cons of living in Encino. Let's start out with the pros as always, okay? So it's centrally located in the San Fernando Valley and provides easy access to freeways and major streets. It's only a short drive away from popular destinations such as Universal Studios, the Getty Museum, and the beach. High quality schools, Encino is home to some of the best schools in Los Angeles Unified School District. These include public schools such as Encino Elementary and private schools such as Crespi Car uh, Carmelite High School. Uh, as far as outdoor activities, Encino offers plenty of opportunities for outdoor recreation. It has several parks, including Los Encino State Historic Parks that offer hiking trails, picnic areas, and outdoor activities. Shopping and dining is also a very popular in Encino. There's a variety of shopping and di dining options from high-end boutiques to casual eateries. Ventura Boulevard in particular is a popular destination for shopping and dining. Now let's talk about the cons. Encino is an affluent neighborhood and the cost of living can be high. Housing prices are above the Los Angeles average and some of the more upscale restaurants and shops can also be expensive. While Encino's central location provides easy access to freeways and major streets, it also means that traffic can be heavy at times. This can lead to longer commute times and difficulty, difficulty finding parking in some areas. Uh, Encino is a quiet residential neighborhood and the nightlife options are relatively limited. Those looking for a more vibrant uh, nightlife scene may need to travel to nearby cities like Studio City, Sherman Oaks, or Hollywood. Like much of San Fernando Valley, Encino can experience hot summers with temperatures regularly reaching over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. This can be uncomfortable for those who do not enjoy hot weather, such as myself. Overall, Encino is a desirable neighborhood with high quality schools, ample outdoor recreation opportunities, and a variety of shopping and dining options. However, the high cost of living and heavy traffic may be drawbacks for some people. So let's talk about some of the local restaurants in Encino, shall we? Everybody loves food, and Encino has a great selection of restaurants with various cuisines. Here are some of the popular options. The number one is a stand. I love this place. This restaurant specializes in burgers, hot dogs, and other American cuisine. We have Bluebird Brasserie, the Belgian style restaurant serving mussels, fries, and beer. We have the Yamato restaurant. The sushi spot is known for its fresh fish and extensive menu. We have the carving board. This deli serves amazing sandwiches, salads, and soups made with high quality ingredients. We all obviously have the Sherman, the upscale restaurant featuring a farm to table menu with dishes made from locally sourced ingredients. We have Asakuma Rice, the Japanese restaurant serving sushi rolls, poke bowls, and other Japanese favorites. We have More Than Waffles. This breakfast spot serves delicious waffles, 
omelets, and pancakes. We have sushi don, one of my favorites. The sushi spot serves traditional sushi, rolls, and other Japanese dishes. We have Kricha it Italian Deli and Sub. This deli serves authentic Italian subs, salads, and sides. These are just a few examples, and there are many, many more restaurants to discover in Encinos. So let's talk about the nearby cities to Encino. They include Sherman Oaks, Tarzana, Studio City, and Woodland Hills. Now let's talk about what the nearby freeways are in Encino. Encino is conveniently located near major freeways. The 405 runs along the eastern border of Encino and provides easy access to other parts of Los Angeles, including Santa Monica and the San Fernando Valley. We have the 101 the Ventura Freeway, which runs along the southern border of Encino and connects to Hollywood, downtown LA, and the San Fernando Valley. Additionally, the 118 Ronald Reagan Freeway runs along the northern border of Encino and provides access to Simi Valley and Ventura. So, so let's talk about my favorite subject, real estate. So what are the median home prices in Encino? As of June 2023, the median single family price in Encino, California was anywhere between $795 to $4 million. This is the price that it was sold. Note that real estate prices are constantly fluctuating and this information may no longer be accurate. Let's talk about the median condo price in Encino. As of June 2023, it was anywhere between 495,000 to 820, according to Zillow. And we always encourage you to check with a local realtor for more up-to-date information. And lastly, the median townhome prices in Encino. According to real estate website Zillow, the median townhome price sold in Encino, California was anywhere between 700,000 to 876,000. It's important to note that the actual median price can vary depending on the specific location, size, and the condition of the townhouse. So let's now talk about the local shopping options in Encino. Encino has several shopping options, including the Encino Commons. The outdoor shopping center has a variety of stores, restaurants, and cafes. Some of the stores include the famous Trader Joe's, CVS Pharmacy, Starbucks, and Wells Fargo. The Encino Marketplace, the shopping center is home to several big name retailers, including Target, Best Buy, and Home Depot. There are several other restaurants and cafes in the area as well. Uh, Ventura Boulevard, this main thoroughfare runs through Encino and is home to a variety of shops, restaurants, and cafes. Some popular stores include Sephora, Lululemon, and Barnes & Noble. We have the Encino Place. The shopping center is anchored by Gelson's Market and also includes several other stores and restaurants. We have the Westfield Topanga Mall, which is humongous. Although not technically in Encino, this nearby mall is a very popular shopping destination for residents. It features over 200 stores, including high-end retailers like Nima Markets and Nordstrom, as well as amazing food courts and restaurants and entertainment options. Overall, Encino offers a range of shopping options to meet the needs of residents. So we're going to touch upon the local parks in Encino. There's several nearby parks and outdoor recreation area, and here are a few of them. Encino Park. This is a popular park in the heart of Encino that has a variety of amenities, including a playground, basketball court, tennis court, and picnic areas. We have the Los Encino State Historic Park. This is a historic park, features a restored 19th century adobe home, a pond, and a variety of outdoor picnic areas. We have the Sepulveda Basin Recreation Area. This is a large outdoor recreation area that features a golf course, multiple sports fields, hiking trails, and a wildlife reserve, and much more. We have the Balboa Sports Complex. This park features multiple sports fields, a swimming pool, skate park, and picnic areas. We have the beautiful Lake Balboa. This is a large 27-acre park with a lake and walking paths, as well as picnic areas, playground, and several sports fields. These parks offer a wide variety of outdoor activities, making it easy to enjoy the Southern California climate and also stay active. So let's talk about now the local entertainment scene in Encino. Encino has a variety of entertainment options for residents and visitors alike. Here are some of the uh, entertainment options in Encino. Obviously, we have our famous Ventura Boulevard. It's a main street in Encino, 
and offers a variety of shops, restaurants, and bars. It's a great place to spend an afternoon or evening with friends or family. We have the Encino Farmer's Market. The Encino Farmer's Market is held every Sunday and features fresh produce, flowers, and food from local vendors. It's a great place uh, and a great way to find and support the local community and enjoy some delicious food. We have the Los Encinos State Historic Park. This park is a great place to go for a picnic or a hike. It also features historic buildings and is a popular spot for weddings and other events. We have the Encino Park, which is a great place to bring kids and pets. It features playgrounds, sports fields, and picnic areas. We have golf courses. Encino is home to a few golf courses, including the Encino Golf Course and the Balboa Golf Courses. These are great places to enjoy a round of golf and take in the beautiful scenery. Encino is a luxurious uh, neighborhood that offers a high-end lifestyle with easy access to the 101 and the 405 freeway, making it a convenient place for commuters. The area is also home to several parks and recreation areas, including the Sepulveda Basin Recreation Park and the Los Encinos State Historic Park. Overall, Encino is a great option for those seeking a luxurious and upscale lifestyle in the San Fernando Valley. Its restaurant and shopping scene reflects its affluent residents, while its strong real estate market and convenient location make it an attractive destination for those looking for a comfortable and welcoming community to call home. Now remember, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or email, or schedule a Zoom call, all in the description below. And until next time, we hope to show you around town. Thank you so much for watching.